hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop before any further i do let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches and i'll leave the resolution at 300 then click on create so this is our background now i'm going to bring this image then scale it out go to your filter then apply blur gaussian blur then i'm going to increase it around 27.7 .7, like this then you click ok then i'm also going to bring this image then you drag it down go to your Gaussian blur then you apply the same thing then apply layer mask then go to your gradient tool okay for those who are asking me how to blend up and down make sure it's black and transparent just the way you see it here then change the blending option from normal to multiply when it is multiplied then you can apply all angle transparent so we will get to that in this tutorial so now i will blend over here this way it's okay then i'm going to bring this image then i'll position it within the middle here like this then i'm going to change to luminosity then go to filter then apply a gaussian blur then reduce it it's okay like this then click ok now apply your layer mask now here you will see that i'm going to blend the top and the bottom so you can see okay now i'm going back again then to bring this image then scale it out then change the blending option to soft light then i'm going to blur it go to your gunsha blur then i'm going to use around 8.8 .8. then i'll click ok so you can see how it is then i'm going to reduce the opacity then to around 30 okay all right now then followed by this image then i'll position this image over here then reduce it this way then i will retake this opacity back to around 75 because I want this background to show then change the blending mode to luminosity then reduce the opacity to 30 alright now apply your layer mask select the gradient to you see here now is normal so let's see how it's going to be So you can see, so for those of you who are finding it difficult, when you see that 
when you blend both the bottom the angle and the top is not applying then change it to multiply so when you change it to multiply then you can apply both the bottom then the side by side and the top so that is it now i'm going to draw a rent angle at the bottom here okay then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl j then i'll turn this one off select this one then i'm going to bring this background then i'll drag it this way position it like this then right click then click on create a clipping mask so this is what you have now i'm going to turn this one on then i'm going to copy this color code ctrl c to copy then ctrl v to paste So this is it. Now I'm going to select the first rent angle, then apply the drop shadow. Then I'll rotate this one to 180. Then increase your distance, the spread and the shadow. okay like this then i'll click ok so you can see a shadow here All right so now i'm going to copy my test ctrl c select your test tool then ctrl v to paste and I'm using the font called Lato. Then reduce the font size. It's okay like this. Then copy this one. Ctrl C. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl J. You drag it here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to open the character space. This way is okay. Okay. Then I'm going to group the background. Then come back to your test to copy again. Ctrl C to copy. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then increase the font size. Then go back to your test again to copy this one. Select your test tool. Then I'll position this one over here. Okay, now I'm going to group the two together, then go to select, you can press Ctrl A on your keyboard or you click on this one. Now I'm going to apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl D to the select or you come over here again, you click on this one.
Now I'm going to copy this one. Control C. Select your test tool. Then you paste. Then I'm going to copy this color code. Then you paste the color code. This is red. Then increase the font size. Then take it up and position it over here. Control A to select. Then apply your vertical alignment and Control D to deselect. Now select the test. Then go to stroke. So in this stroke now, you see, I have two strokes here. Then the first one, I will leave the number at 4. Then the opacity, I will leave it at 100. Then I will select the second stroke, which is 8. The size is 8 and the opacity is 84. Then I'll click it OK. So you can see I have black and white stroke here. Then I'm going to bring this light. Then I will reduce the size. I'll position it somewhere here. Then change it to screen. Then I'm going to filter blur, Gaussian blur. To reduce the brightness, I'll leave it like this 5.8. Okay, now I'm going to apply a layer mask. I'll select my brush, then select your soft brush. Make sure that the hardness is zero. And I'm going to reduce it. Then I'll clean up this light here. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Control J. Then I'll position this one somewhere here. So I'll leave it like this. Okay. Now I'm going to group this one together. And you will rename it 14 days. So this 14, I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Okay, then I'm going to hold my Alt key, then I'll drag the layer style to this, then double click on this one. Select your drop shadow and reduce the effect. I'll leave it this way. It's okay. Now, I'm going to copy the team. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle here this way. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. And I'm going to change the color to white. Then you rotate it. 
then I'm going to move it and position it here then I will group it and rename it team then come back to your test again select the test and copy it select your test to control V to paste and I'm going to change this font to hostly signature then change the font color to black then I'll scale it out this way then come back to your test and I'm going to copy this one Ctrl C select your test tool again then I will change the font so this font here Niagara solid then Ctrl V to paste then change the font color to red then you scale it out then I'll position it this way I'll take it over here because of the image I will place in that area then for this team I'm going to reduce the size like this then put zero for the character spacing then I'm going to bring this light again then reduce the size then I'll change it to screen then Ctrl J to duplicate it then I'll position another one over here Then I'll duplicate it again. Then I'll position this one somewhere here. For this one, I'm going to apply layer mask. Select my brush and I'll brush over here. Okay, I'll leave it like this for now. Alright, so the next thing again, I'm going to bring this image, then position it this way, then I'm going to group this one together, Ctrl G, and I will rename it Test. Alright, then I'm going to draw another rent angle over here like this, then change the color to white, then I'm going to reduce the opacity, alright, then I'm going to copy the name Then select your test tool, Ctrl V to paste, then change the font to Lato, then make it bold, then I'll position it over here and reduce the size to fit in, select the tool. Apply vertical and horizontal alignment. So you can see. Then I'm going to select the tree and I'll group it. Then I'll type pastor. Then again, I'm going to bring this icon, then reduce the size, then I'll position it over here, 
always zoom in and zoom out so that you see the outcome of it then i'm going to copy the dates select a test tool then ctrl v i'm going to change the font color to black then i'll position it over here copy this one then ctrl j to duplicate this one then you bring it down then scale it out then select this one then come over here then apply superscript then use your arrow key then to move it up then you copy again duplicate this one drag it up over here then you bring it down select your test tool then ctrl v to paste then come over again to copy this one then ctrl j to duplicate this one move it over here highlight it then ctrl v to paste then i'm going to change the color of this one to red then reduce it this way okay now i'm going to duplicate this one but before then we're going to draw a cycle here Then I'm going to use this color, then apply a drop shadow, I'll leave it this way, then select your test tool, and I'm going to type this letter, then change the color to white, then I'll position it at the center here. Then I'll group it. Use your arrow key to position it somewhere here. Now I'm going to select this one. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to drag it over here then I'll, I'll come over here to copy again select your test to highlight this one then control sorry control V to paste then I will also highlight this one then I'm going to copy this one then control v to paste then select this one then apply superscript then you select this one then you increase it this way then you select the two and you reduce it i'll leave it like this it's okay Alright.
then drag this one to the center here then I'm going to group it together ctrl G then I rename it date and time all right now I'm going to draw another rent angle then I'll copy this test select your test tool ctrl V to paste then I'll change the color to white then I'll position it here reduce the size also copy this one select your test tool then ctrl v to paste then i will select the test and the rent angle apply vertical and horizontal alignment okay then here i'm going to put this column here to divide the test all right then reduce the size like it this way now I'm going to select this one drag it into time and date so there are one then reduce the size position it over here Then go to your image adjustment select hue and saturation or you press ctrl u on your keyboard then you drag the brightness to white then you click ok now i'm going to copy the location select your test tool then ctrl v to paste I prefer it this way so that is it so before I forget there is a test here copy then select your test tool then ctrl V to paste then change the color to black then change the font to semi bold italic I'm going to use medium okay this one is okay let me see I don't want it to be bold then I'm going to duplicate this one ctrl J Then select the test, then copy the chapter and the verse, then control V to paste. Then I'm going to make this one semi bold.
All right. Can I position it around here? Then I'll open this place, then drag it inside so that they'll be together. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much.